Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. Now this is a video guys where we will discuss about how can we proceed to learn WordPress. This is a basic question basically every developer needs to be know that there are several topics we have including about customizations, including about basic features, including about drag and drop related features in WordPress. So how can I proceed ourselves to learn the complete details or let's say to get the complete idea to use the WordPress. So if I back to the YouTube channel of Online Web Tutor, so back to browser. Now go to Online Web Tutor. Now inside this playlist, we can find about several topics actually we had created for to learn WordPress and the customizations like theme development, like plugin development, like child development, widget development, as well as Metabox, Sortbox and several topics. So how can we proceed to learn about WordPress? Let's say that I am a beginner and right now I have no idea about WordPress. So how can we move ourselves so that step by step to gain each and every sections to be clear in my mind. So inside this video, we are going to discuss all the needed points. So as this video is the first part, as we can see here, so inside this video, we will discuss only about the drag and drop related features of WordPress. Let's say that we know only about drag and drop features. We have no idea about customizations. Customization means means about plugin customization, theme customization to make sidebars, to make widgets, meta box, sort codes, and so on. So right now I have no concept of customizations. So how can we increase my readability power over WordPress by using drag and drop features? So basically guys, I have separated video by video. So inside this video, we will see only about drag and drop needed features which a developer should have. So if we go to the next step, so here chapter by chapter needs to be proceed. When we usually say that we well know about drag and drop features, it means that we should have these knowledges. We have two types of WordPress developers in market about the drag and drop features means they well know about these ideas or we have a WordPress customization developer. It means that they will know about each and every section to be customized and how can we proceed with the customization in WordPress. So this video is for when we know or when we say that we have drag and drop features of WordPress. So in that case, what knowledge we should have, we will know inside this video. So let's say that I am a totally beginner inside WordPress world. I have no idea about the basic knowledge as well as about some expert knowledges over WordPress. So how can I make myself to proceed over to learn WordPress. So the first point is that learn WordPress basics. It means that basics means default behavior or default features of each section should be clear to our mind. What basically the WordPress default features I am asking about. So if I back to browser, now here in my system, I have installed a blank setup of WordPress. This is the version of 5.3.2. So you should know that how can we install a WordPress to a local system. This is first part or let's say basic number one. After installation, we should learn that what is the basic needed of these menus like what is the meaning of post, media, pages, comments, appearance, plugins, users and so on. So this is basic number two. We need to clear in our mind that what is the basic need of these menus in WordPress or we should use these menus. After well know over these menus of WordPress, 
Now basic number 3, we need to cover about the settings panel of WordPress. It means that inside this menus, we have several sub-menus. So for the settings sub-menus like general, writing, reading, discussion, media, permalinks and privacy. This is the newly added sub-menu in WordPress. Now we have to well know about these sub-menus. The most important thing of this settings panel is all about permalinks that how can we control about the menus routing system or the pages or any of the post routing system or URL making in WordPress. Now while going through these menus like post, media, pages, comments and so on, we need to clear in our mind that how can we create a post how can we store a media files like images, like any of the style files, JavaScript files in WordPress? How can we create pages as well as there is no idea or let's say we have no concept here about custom post type. So we need to learn about how can we create a custom post type in WordPress. What are the available plugins we have to install or to make a custom post type? We need to learn about that also. How can we install a theme? How can we install a plugin? All these basics idea we need to fix or we need to clear while learning the basic knowledge of WordPress. Let's say that while going through an interview, the interviewer asked that how many roles we have in WordPress. We will be confused if no idea about WordPress. So if we go inside this user section, click on add new. Now inside this add new, if we go inside this drop down of this rule, then we can find that these are the roles means available roles actually the WordPress default provides. But if we have some more customization op options or a skills over customization, then we can add our own custom role as well inside this WordPress setup. So right now, this is our first part. So we need to know only about the basic knowledge that is, these are the default roles actually our WordPress default setup provides. Second question, let's say that the interviewer asked that what is screen options or how can we use screen options in WordPress or let's say that what is the basic purpose to use screen options or the available option screen options in WordPress. So to be polite and precise, if we go to the pages section, add new. Now while adding a page inside this list or let's say if we go to the post, click on add new. Now while adding any post here, now inside this section at the right side we have a sidebar. Now inside this sidebar as we can see we have options of categories, tags, featured image, excerpt, discussion, post attributes and so on. So these are the options actually available by skin options to show here. So let's say that if we want to hide some of the options, go here, click on the options. Now inside this options pop-up menu, as we can see here that these are the check panels. So if we want to hide about permalinks, categories, tags, featured image, so click on this pop-up, close this. Now as we can see, only we have right now three available options. All becomes hidden. So this is a part of screen options. Means what are the screens or what are the options we want to be available while creating any page or post then we can set options for that. Another set of questions it may be asked that what are the submenus we have available for this appearance section of this WordPress. So appearance section is one of the most menu, one of the most important menu of WordPress where by going through this actually we can set about themes installation. If we want to see about activated theme and if we want to customize some code over theme then this menu will be helpful. So if we click on the themes now as we can see right now we have 
activated theme as 2020. Now these are the available themes actually the WordPress default provides. If we want to install any new theme, we need to click on this add new while going through some steps and we can install that. We have two options to install a theme by here. First, either we can select any, let's say if we click on add new, we can select any theme from the WordPress repository and simply click on install and finally we need to click on activate button. Or we can install any theme via a zip file. This is not only for the themes. This option is also available for the plugins. It means either we can select via WordPress repository or simply by going through a GIF format we can install that. So these all skills what we had discussed these are the basic parts of WordPress. So we need to know if I back to slide. So these all goes to this first part that is learn WordPress basics. Now the second part is something increase your work skills over page builders. As we know that right now in the WordPress world we have several page builders. What basically a page builder is? A page builder is a uh, let's say a plugin or let's say a default package which is used to create a post or a page in a well structure. It provides several options. By going through those options actually we can customize each necessary things or let's say each sections of WordPress like if we want to customize some images, if we want to customize some sidebars, some themes, some post types, some let's say custom post types. So all we can set about the layout as well as with the structure by going through page builders. So if we want to know the, the name of some page builders, simply go to Chrome and search for WordPress page builders. We can get several options while going to the surfing list. So we need to know about how can we work over page builders. Let's say that I'm going to hire myself inside the organization. Inside that organization, there are no more options about customizing work. They always provides me a uh, drag and drop features to be used inside a WordPress setup. So I'm going to use some of the page builders, let's say that. So inside that situation, I need to know or I have a skills over to use about page builders over WordPress. So if I back to slide, so in second case, we need to increase our skills over page builders. It means that we need to know that how can we work by use of page builders inside a WordPress setup. In today's world means in today's time you will get if you have the features of this listing then you will hopefully get about working uses of page builders. Now in the third point concept of using parent theme and child theme should be clear. Now while working with a WordPress setup, we need to know about what is parent theme and child theme. Every developer needs to be followed that while working over the theme customization or over the theme features, we always make a child theme. Why? Because child theme inherits all the features of a parent theme including its own features. If suppose in future, if we have some error or let's say layout is being distorted while going through child theme. But in that situation, parent theme will be safe. We can restore the default features of a parent theme. But in case, let's say that a developer directly starts working on a parent theme and in future, there, are, there will be some features like they distorted or this layout is being now corrupted. So in that condition, developer will be not longer to restore the default features of parent theme because parent theme itself gets distorted. So while working over WordPress, we should know about the basic concept of using parent theme and the child theme. While going through these topics, 
while going through parent theme and the child theme actually we need to clear several things over customizations also like how can we create about child theme css javascript files for child theme only how can we use about the css of parent theme and how can we proceed about the files structure so in the next video when we will discuss about the customizations skills then in that case we will discuss these points now in the next increase the readability over WordPress plugins and WordPress themes. To be a perfect WordPress developer, if you have the skills over only drag and drop features, then in that condition, you need to memorize or learn about WordPress plugins. Let's say that if we want to migrate the database of what's one setup to another setup, then in that condition, we need to know that what is the basic plugin that we need to migrate database from one platform to another platform. So if we have idea, then we will go and install that plugin from WordPress repository, install inside our WordPress and generate about the migrated database. In some cases, let's say that we are going to integrate about contact form. So we need to know that what will be the plugin to use or to make a contact form inside our website. So firstly, I recommend about using WordPress free plugins because there are several free plugins we have where we can use install to our WordPress setup and use accordingly. Now while going through WordPress themes, we also seen about if you go to our WordPress setup. Now inside this WordPress setup, all these listings what we are seeing here, these are freely available theme of WordPress. From this list, we can install and activate this theme for our WordPress setup. Now all these points basically guys covered for a drag and drop features of WordPress. When we usually say a developer that you only know about drag and drop features, it means that you should have these knowledges. If you don't have right now, then please start learning. You need to work over WordPress basics, page builders, over parent theme and child theme as well as you need to increase your searching power over WordPress plugins as well as WordPress themes. Now in the next video we will see that if we say that I am a WordPress customization developer then in that condition what we need to cover we all discussed inside the next video. So inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.